So let's go in and let's talk about a risk. Let's add a risk. So this is actually my risk list. So I already have a few here in the system. But let's go ahead and let's create a new risk. So I'll just make this one our demo. What status are we in? So here we have other statuses. And of course, these can be modified to meet your organizational needs. So I'll just say here, we'll stay and identify our work type. So of course here, this list is very long, can also be um, modified. We'll put this one as maybe a people. So then we would identify the question that um, resource availability. Oops, I can't even type you guys. Um, on the project, okay. And as you can see here as well, we've just kind of got a, a little tidbit or a little bit of information of what we're looking for in each field. And of course, if you guys have other fields or anything like that, we can do the same thing. So the next one is the condition. So the um, observable condition, event or state that may adversely affect the project. What's the consequence if this does happen? And then of course, what is our root cause? So describe what that condition, if that condition occurs, then what is the problem? So if we are worried about um, our resources and we think that maybe a resource, maybe um, we've got someone who is gonna go out on vacation and they're not quite 100% sure, especially in today's world of COVID, maybe they're not quite sure if they're able to go. So if that person does go out and it's maybe someone who's very important to our project, what are we going to do if they do um, go out and what are we gonna do about that? The next one is the owner. So who's kind of the owner of this um, issue, of this risks? It's usually um, the project manager who is the owner of this, just because they're the ones that are going to be managing it. And then the next one is the likely impact date. So if this does happen, do we have a date that may come up? So if we know that resource is gonna be out on a specific day, then we can actually modify that and give it the date so that we can see that. So let's just put a date in here. And maybe we'll say that um, this will affect us next month. And then we can also put a priority. So we can make this a high priority item. If we know that our risk is um, high priority, we really need to keep track of what's going on with this. Or we can make it normal, we can make it low. So we'll go ahead and leave that here. So the next, this is a couple columns here that's gonna give us um, some better information about what our risk is going to do if something does happen or what the probability of that is. So first we can rank this. So let's say I have 10 risks at the moment. Maybe this is just, um, you know, in the priority of things, this is gonna be kind of number five um, in, in that list. The next thing is, is what is the probability that this risk is actually going to happen? So I'm gonna say, you know what, right now, not 100% sure, we're gonna make that at 50%. So this kind of your gut feel on, is this going to happen? Is this not going to happen? And if it does happen, based on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being low, 10 being high, what is the impact to our project if this does happen? So we have a 50% chance of it happening, but if it does, what is that impact going to be? And let's say this is going to be a high one. This is going to be a 7 because we're going to lose someone within our project and it's going to change our schedule. And then here you can do the cost. So if there's an associated cost, should the risk occur, then you can actually enter in your cost here as well. And then we still have a couple fields here. So our mitigation plan, what are we gonna do in order to eliminate the risk or to reduce the probability of the risk? So we can put our mitigation plan in here. We can put our contingency plan. So what's the fallback if something, if, you know, if this risk does occur, do um, in our contingency plan? And then um, next one, what are some of the triggers? So 
you know, maybe it's that person taking vacation if they're allowed to take vacation. Um, so we need to pay attention to that very well. And then assign to. So if you want to assign this to a particular resource so that they can watch it, um, you can assign it to them. And then the next one is risks action risk actions taken. So if this risk actually does happen, what are some of the actions that we're going to do to try to mitigate that? You can also put a due date. So maybe we're worrying about it um, until a certain date, and then we know that that person is no longer going to be on vacation. They they have no they're not going to go. We can go ahead and put it in our due date. We can also track our risk status. So if we're okay, if we're in danger of this happening, or it actually did occur. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark this one in danger. Here you can just put a free form notes field. So any other notes that you need to put in about this risk, you can go ahead and put them in here. One of the, so these two fields are at the bottom. These are fields that we have added. Um, to our risk registry or risk list. And what this does is you can also have this show up in our issue reports. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll check that box. And instead of having to go into the issues list and maybe go in and refill this out, I can actually use this form here and say, you know what, I wanna add this to the issues list as well. So once I've got all my information here about my risk, I'm gonna go ahead and save my risk. So now you're gonna notice that we're gonna get an impact score based on my probability and based on my impact. So let's go ahead and save that and we'll see our rank there as well. So here's our demo risk. We've put it as in danger, so it's come up to the top. We've put it at a 50% probability the impact is going to be a 7, so it gives it an exposure of 